Hello, Under the Sea Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Try That Again, Might Magic 7 with me, Blue Ankylo. Last episode, we went under the sea, and then we used the bottle uh, that takes you to the secret dungeon. So if you want to see that, go to the last episode. If you don't, well, here you are. Anyway, I've got our dudes ready again. Oh, except forgot to equip a blaster there. And I did set all of our buffs up. Now, a lot of them are you know, more than a day, so I'm hoping some of them will last into the next zone. I'm not 100% sure how that works. But let's give it a try. So back we go to the shoals. It says one day. So no, it still eliminated all of our active spells, even though they should have lasted more a day. So this sucks. Uh, basically, we can't cast magic, we can't heal, we can't do diddly. So um, all we can use is our stupid blasters. So this is gonna hurt. No wizard's eye, so we can't see where we're going. We still have, like, flight effect. Um, we're getting hit. I don't know where we're going, but there's sharks with laser beams. Seriously, sharks with freaking laser beams. Freaking laser beams. Um, I don't know. Oh, is this it? Maybe I found it. This looks like a, this looks like a spaceship. A How do we get in? Please it's let me in. Flesh wound. It's just a flesh wound. Let's get in over here. Ah, don't be afraid, just let me in. I have uh, no idea where the entrance is. Ow. The shark. Okay, that's like the engine. It's not there. Okay, how do you get in? Ow. The sharks are seriously beating us up. Ow. Can we Whoa, that sent me up flying. That was kind of cool. That's like a bouncy spot. That's kind of fun. Uh, no, maybe that's the entrance? Please let me in. It's this just is a flesh wound. What a scratch. This is ridiculous. I have no idea how to get into this stupid thing. What does it say? Go to the Lincoln. <laughs> I went to the Lincoln. How do you get in? Ah, what a scratch. Maybe it's right on ground level. Cool. Ah, what a scratch. Yeah, there's sharks. Just a scratch. There's lots of laser scratch sharks. Laser Ow. sharks should be banned. Sign a petition. No more laser sharks allowed. I'm glad there's <laughs> gold and daggers on the bottom of the sea. Okay. I am not finding any Ow. way into this thing. Ow. Like, am I just blind? Or, like, Ow. seriously? Ow. Roar's having a nap now. He's underwater sleeping. Just ah, a it's probably not Ow. good for his health. He's, he's taking a nap just at the bottom of the sea now. So all these towers and things, but I don't like. There's nothing. Just a scratch. What a scratch. There's nothing to click yeah, on on these little towers. Ah. We can't heal. Like I can't even cast magic. It's so stupid. Okay, that was the pirate ship. That's the UFO. Ah, but how do we get into it? Is it the wrong, wrong spaceship? I was sure that would be where we'd have to go. Well, we're off to a great start today, folks. <laughs> oh man. The fact that you can't cast magic is just crap. I guess if you did alchemy, maybe you could like... There's a lot of sharks by this one. Dragon sharks. What? What's that on the ground? Rose petals. How did those get there? Um, I guess like oh, if you did alchemy, scratch. you could have brought a variety of strong healing potions. But I, th I didn't do alchemy because alchemy is boring. Okay, I've gone far enough south. Let's try west. It's gotta be that spaceship on the bottom. I mean, come on. What else could it be down here? I know I could kill the sharks eventually. Heroism pedestal. Yay, that's better than nothing. Heroism gives us <laughs> melee damage with melee weapons. <laughs> Just what you need when you're fighting sharks at the bottom of the sea. Well, I don't know. How do you get into this stupid thing? That looks kind of like an entrance, but I've yet to find a way, a thing to click on. It even says Lincoln. This is definitely the ship. It's just you and me now. It's just you and me now. Commander's the only one that survived the pummeling of shark death. Well, I don't know. Should I have killed all the sharks? Probably. This is ridiculous. I'm going to have to look up a guide on how ah, to get into the scratch. stupid oh, ah, ship at the end of the scratch. game. I feel like an idiot. Ah. And we're dead. Yeah, that's good. 
Okay, I will uh, pause the recording because this is getting embarrassing and hopefully show you guys how to do it. Ah, okay, folks, right. so I figured it out. You're going to love it. You know the entrance? That's what you click on. Or, if you want, on the other side, same spot. So, it's really easy, but I don't know how you're supposed to tell that that green light was what you get into it from. Anyway, this is the Lincoln, and we managed, because I used this reloaded, managed to get in without being basically dead ahead of time. Because I have a feeling whatever's on the inside is not friendly. Uh, we'll turn it to normal speed. Alright. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. So, we're under attack. Now, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we can probably wear our normal stuff again. So let well, we want I don't know if we want to go with blasters or what. We'll put the normal armor on at the very least, all the normal stuff we had. Um, was he really just wearing speed boots? I never gave him better boots than that. I never really did a whole lot of equipment uh, optimizing in the end, did I? All right, just equip everything quick. This part should be a little bit quicker than the unequipping phase because you don't have to click on specific sections to get it. Uh, it feels like Broar probably will do better with a blaster than a staff. The melee guys do a lot of damage with melee, so it seems like maybe they'll want to use that more. It's a lot of rings. Hopefully these are all the right ones. Oops. Do, 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 do. And then we're ready for some battle. Finally. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'm going to give... Yeah, we'll, we'll let... Uh, we'll let the melee fighters use their, their weapons for now. Because they do a lot of damage up close. Um, it's less of an issue for the mages. And then once we start getting the better... Um, come on. The better... Uh, blasters that do more damage we'll probably just switch everyone over to those honestly but we'll see we'll see I am impressed with commander's spear of death basically the amount of damage he does right moon cloak doesn't really help anybody but that's fine cloak of sheep not really great but whatever and then the light sun cloak is good and I forgot about this one good all right so uh Sentinel droids, assassin droids. I'm going to assume that we're going to want protection from magic first off. Because in Might Magic 6, those type of enemies, well, the enemies at this point in the game, the sci-fi enemies, could definitely cast eradication. And that was just something that you had to deal with. For us, maybe we won't have to deal with it thanks to um, superior technology. Um, the, <laughs> the protection from magic spell. They're pretty tough. Move closer. Oh, they're like little oh, dragon what things. Just a flesh wound. Let's start getting some more buffs on. We're going to want protection, maybe. Oh, Move close. We should be able to crush just them in, in uh, melee, I think. Oh, Whoa, how did Broar already get knocked out? Jeez. Okay, or melee does nothing. Now, there you go. 150. That's the stuff. Alright, they're definitely doing some damage to us. I'm glad you guys get to attack so quickly. What a scratch. Come on, team. Just what hold it together. There's only three of them, and we're just getting murdered here. Sandless, maybe I cast the wrong spell. That light spell is taking him a lot of rounds to recover from. The Day of Protection, or whatever it was. Because I really need him to be healing right now. <laughs> that would be and nice. Alright, he finally gets a turn. Power cure, finally. There we go. Alright, we're okay. We can handle it. These things are tough. Wow. These are definitely one of the toughest new enemies. Gee whiz. Well, once we've got all our buffs and stuff on, it shouldn't be as bad. Alright. Maybe I should have been using more magic. I don't know. I don't think the magic's... Well, it's not bad. 132. 
We'll get a little bit more healing going on. And we should be okay for one more of these droids. I assume the assassin droid was the toughest one, probably. Alright. What do we get for these things? You don't even get any good stuff. Boo. <laughs> Alright, so we cast Day of Protection. We need Hour of Power still. And we need Wizard's Eye. Or does it cast Wizard's Eye for you? I think it does, actually. Whichever one I haven't cast yet. We don't have Day of the Gods yet. We've got Wizard's Eye. Yeah, we do have Wizard's Eye, of course. Um, bless. We've got basically everything now except for the regeneration spells. Which I think we're going to need. <laughs> the way this has started off. So everyone gets regeneration. Klonoa gets it first because she's hurt the most. And then uh, Broar. Lucky you. And then Commander. And because Sandless is selfless, he heals himself last. Alright. Is that something over there? That's nothing. Alright, so. Let's see here. How are we going to do this? They're pretty tough. <laughs> let's save it. Let's do that. That's smart. Can I just... Okay. No big deal. That door doesn't want to open, I guess. Oh, that door does want to open. Good. So we'll go there in a second. Just going to have a look over here. Click on some stuff. Apparently does nothing. That's fine. It's good. Doing nothing is fine. These seem like storage bays or something, maybe. Something blue. There's like a blue dot on the mini-map here. Maybe there's something there later or on a different floor? I don't know. Looks like there should be something there anyway. Alright. Let's just... Uh, well, there's definitely a lot of red things you can see, like, right above us or below us in there. Ugh. Sentinel droids everywhere. Why are these things so mean? That's my question. That's my my question. Don't they know we're friendly? We s we mean them no harm. Okay, I guess we're going up. We're going up. I'm expecting we can get better blasters in here somewhere. This area was a real this basically the same level from Might Magic 6 was a real pain in Might Magic 6. So I'm not expecting this to be a ton of fun. Oh look, you jumped down. Just a scratch. Oh yes. Good job. Alright, so there's a few more. Assassin, let's go deal with him first. Oh, what a scratch. Uh oh, there's it's two assassin droids and two seeker droids. Alright. Ow, what a scratch. I'm gonna go with acid, not oh, that great. What a scratch. Everyone's got haste ah, now, so we should we should be getting a lot more attacks in. Should be better. Ow, what a scratch. Well, basically we're buffed up. He still does a lot of damage though. Poor Broar taking out. What a scratch. Nasty damage. Kill it. Oh come on. <laughs> I asked you one thing, Broar. Just one simple thing. Just That's kill one of them. We'll keep Broar alive. I know he failed us, but we're going to keep him alive anyway. Ah, what a Let's kill him. Alright. Got to move a little bit closer here. What a scratch. Okay, let's try to just kill it. Just a scratch. Ah, what a scratch. Ah, uh, We're just going to kill it on ah, double speed. It should be fine. It's just a flesh wound. It's just a flesh wound. Alright, not too bad. I just wanted to see if we could do it like that. Because I'm worried that there's going to be like hundreds of these things. And we're going to need a way to kill them quicker. Or else this series is going to go on for a long time. <laughs> so what is this thing? Anything? So we came up here. It does nothing. We just killed a few bots, did nothing. That's good. I love it when that happens. That's that's my favorite part, is when you go somewhere like that and nothing happens. Good. Good job, game. Uh, 
Oh, power restored. We did something. Yay. That's that's better. I like it when we do stuff. So, we're not leaving here until we get four blaster rifles. That's the rule. As well as whatever... Oh, yeah, we need that uh, oscillation something or other. So, that opens now. Okay. Secret droids. Ow. Also... Ah, no idea what those are. It's just a it's just a flex move. It's just got it. Okay, that's it's working pretty good. That's pretty good. Maybe we should just switch to uh even normal blasters, honestly. That blaster and a dagger? I don't know. That seems kinda pointless. You can always put a sword in the left hand. <laughs> I don't know why you would. But uh there you go. Alright, so what is this? Uh, it's nothing. Nothing here. Nothing to see here, folks. Okay, well, we cleared a little room out. I would expect we're getting quite a lot of experience from these things, yeah. Probably get a few levels up, at least. Let's see, is this blue thing doing anything now? Now that the power's on? No. What about this thing? Yep, definitely. Alright. Uh, Alright, let's try some strafing. We definitely need better rifles, or better better blasters. <laughs> it's not bad, it's not bad, but we need more damage. Oh, chests, please. Yes! Now, I don't know why these guys would want shields and unarmed skill when they have blasters like this. But there we go. That's the one. That's the first one. And maybe another one over here. Mm, I thought there was a blue dot for another chest. So I think uh, I'll give it to Commander first. Five D five instead of three D five. It's also four more damage at base. Um, it'll add up a lot, even though it only looks like it's six to fourteen more. It, it'll add up because we shoot so quickly. It really will be good. Ah, what a scratch. Ow. I mean, we're already killing them pretty quickly like this. At least the Seekers go down. I can hear you. Oh, there's a lot in this room. All right. Just keep an eye on the HP. It's the Assassin ones that are tough. I would say this is working pretty good, though, honestly. Do you ever see it's any misses? That's the question. If I notice anybody oh. missing, then we should put some more points into, uh... Ah, what a scratch. Where is it? Is it ah. above us? Oh, there you are. Just a Sneaky! Uh, but yeah, if we actually miss, then you'd want to put some points into, uh... into the skill a little bit higher, basically. But I don't think that's a problem. Like, instead of, what are we at? Level 12, basically? We could go up to level 15 or something if we're actually missing. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. Let's also recast um, Protection from Magic. I don't know for sure, but I do remember these kind of enemies uh, one-shotting, or casting Eradicate, basically. Which we haven't seen in this game yet. Which is really good. <laughs> Let's just tank it. Come on, you can do it, guys. We'll just tank it. No problem, right? Took him out like nobody's business. Now, is this some more blaster rifles I see? That's just a normal blaster. Boring. Normal blasters. <laughs> Blaster rifle. There we go. And we'll go Klonoa next. Oh, I guess you should repair your armor. I hey? repaired it. Alright. So far, so good. Two Blaster rifles means a fairly significant upgrade to overall damage, I think. I don't Three, in fact, is. actually. So that means we only need one more. And we'll give it to Sandless next. Alright. Very good. Okay, Broar, you're the last one because uh, <laughs> you're the mage. Mages, you know, you don't like, you don't trust weapons like that the same. He would always be the last to uh, 
to really try it. So they should be going down a bit quicker now with two more of those things. This looks like the bridge. My question is, whoever added all these stupid bots to this ship? I mean, having one or two makes a bit of sense, but why are there so many security bots just everywhere? It's crazy. Just click some stuff, you know. Just randomly click stuff. It's not like we have any idea what we're doing, right? Can you get out of here, please? Oh, no. Okay, whew, I thought I was stuck. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the captain's chair, the captain's seat. That's cool. All right, it's a nice, it's a nice bridge. It doesn't seem to do anything. I suppose it's all broken. Oh look, we got a thing. We got it. That was what we came for. I'm glad I randomly clicked the black pudding. So that's all you really needed. Oh dear, what's going on? There's sparks everywhere. Am I getting ambushed, or is it just a trap? It's probably just a trap. That's good. Maybe the idea is the ship's overloading now that I took that out or something. And it's sinking and we're all gonna die. Hmm. Why would they have a bow? Hmm. And a wand of fireballs. They have lasers. Open please. Alright, we're fine. We have good elemental re immunity. Elemental resistance. Wow, this place is really falling apart. Maybe I shouldn't have picked that up yet until I found the last blaster. I'll actually say, if that's all you have to do for this last area, this last area is not as bad as uh, the last area in Might Magic 6, or the last, uh, well, the, 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 the spaceship area, whatever. These guys aren't that bad. Right? Not too bad. One more blaster rifle, that's all we're asking for. And then we can leave! You're not gonna open? Why does that door not open? Is there a command beside it? Console? Nope. Okay! Guess we're not going that way. Uh, we'll save. It's been a while since I've saved. Take a little bit of damage here. It's alright. Don't worry about it. I knew they were behind me too, but... Got him! That wasn't bad. Not bad! Blaster rifle? Well, sentinel droid. It's not quite the same as a blaster rifle. Oh, this would be like med bay or something, maybe? Another entrance to that room. Let's try to do some strafing to reduce the damage a little bit. Reduce the hurt a little bit. Okay, not bad. Oh, that was a teleporter. Okay, I don't really want to teleport yet. Go back. Good. Just want to see if there's like... Yeah, that. The last rifle. Plus a wand of incineration. That sounds somewhat useful. Alright, well that's good. So, that puts us at maximum blaster capacity, which is an important thing. <laughs> a couple levels up, so we could continue killing stuff, or we could probably leave now and just teleport out. I think it would be safe to say. I don't know. Oh, this is the uh, the first room. We've been right. This is the 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 entrance we came in, right? Isn't it? Similar to the entrance. Not quite, I guess. I don't know what that thing's doing. Okay, maybe it's not quite like the entrance. This place is definitely exploding now. Hey, what's down here? I don't think we've been down here yet. There's lots of electric little balls. This might hurt a little bit. Just a, just a teeny bit. Or maybe I have been down here. I don't know where I am now. I think we should probably just leave. Yeah, okay, I remember this is the beginning. This is the beginning. And then this was the entrance at the very beginning. Just what All right. Right. But I don't want to fight the sharks, and I don't want to put the wetsuits on. So we're just going back to Celeste. <laughs> Much easier that way. 
All right. Well, I mean, that was fun. That was that was a good time, right? We've got uh, laser beams now. I could go back to uh, kill some dragons pretty easily. We'll th we'll think about it. No, that's the wrong way. We may be done the game at this point. I don't know. There's probably one more level left or something. That wasn't very hard, honestly. <laughs> Compared to what I went through in the last couple dungeons in Might Magic 6, that was easy. That was no Temple of Varn. Not even close. Alright, I guess I could leave double speed on, to be honest. We'll have to come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> this is the this is the the reward you get for coming back. What did we possibly have done that would deserve a year in prison? <laughs> Thanks, f thank you, marvelous heroes. Now you must go to jail for a year before we give you your reward for fixing our ship. <laughs> Ah, uh, I That's guess the killing the people in the, uh, killing that one guy in, um, this, the developer dungeon? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, they must have coded that in specifically. If you kill the lead designer, you go to jail for a year. <laughs> uh. Welcome. I am Korak. Please come in. Hello, Korak. Korak? We saw you crash on Zine. How could you have survived? My apologies. I never played I Zine. I Korak, not <laughs> THE Korak. The Korak you saw crash was not me, and he may very well have died in that crash. Then again, perhaps not. We are very hard to kill. This is Web Station Beta 5, and I am the Guardian. The gate system was built about a thousand years ago, but we never got a destination portal set up on your world before the war. The war against the Kriegen consumed all the resources of the Ancients. Which one leads to the Ancients? None of them, I'm afraid. When the Kriegen infiltrated the gate web 900 years ago, the entire Spinward Rim was cut off from the rest of the system. That's where we are right now. And that star over there is where you just came from. What about all these other gates? Where do they lead? Other worlds seeded by the Ancients long ago. They all fell into barbarism during the war. I would help them, but I am not permitted to leave this place. And I get very little traffic. The gates prevent people without control cubes from passing through them. So where can we go from here? Go? <laughs> Why, anywhere you want, my friends. Not bad. Anywhere you want. And that's the end of the game. All right, well, party on. I wasn't quite sure about that. So besides being thrown in jail for surprise, everything went quite smoothly, honestly. Um, unfortunately, I never really played Might and Magic 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, I know, isn't it number five was called Zine or something? And I, I guess they're kind of tying all that stuff in. So the overarching storyline is a little bit beyond me. It wasn't a big deal in Might Magic 6, but the whole ending for 7 is like, wow. You gotta know about the storyline with all this gate stuff. So if you didn't get, if you didn't follow any of that either, uh, you're in the same boat as I am. And if you do, you probably played the other games or something as a kid. So anyway, um... Four years. It's actually three years because of that stupid jail thing. That's ridiculous. Um, I don't know. I actually thought this game was pretty easy compared to Might Magic 6. Because I was playing it mostly blind other than checking the walkthrough for like locations for trainers and a couple puzzles and stuff. But um, Might Magic 6, I thought, had more ways to kill you. I thought the actual final dungeons here weren't so bad um, because of protection from magic, I guess. There's uh, new spells and stuff make it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, good work, everybody. And uh, that was a lot of fun. Does it uh, take you right back to the game? Yeah. Sure, you could print this out if you really wanted to. Anyway, it takes you back to Harmondale, of course, our lovely castle. So yeah, good job, team. Commander, Klonoa, Sandless, and Broar. Um, you really didn't get the... Uh, pointless getting the blaster rifles you get them and then you end the game so either you can kill those droids at the last 
in the last dungeon, or you can't, whether you use the guns or not. <laughs> oh well, it was pretty fun. I had a good time. I had a lot of fun. Um, same basic idea as Might Magic 6, except uh, sort of a new skill system and class system a little bit. I think it's an improvement, generally. Uh, I wish they weren't as restrictive with who could get certain skills. Like, I think restricting weapons and magic by class is fine, but I think most of the miscellaneous skills you should be able to get across classes. Like, Broar is just too many things will kill your mage or archmage in one shot. And there's really nothing I can do about it. I mean, I had his resistances as high as they go. Dragon's Breath is still going to kill him in one shot or two shots. So it doesn't really matter. Like, there's nothing I can do. I think uh, there's a couple weaknesses like that. But I think overall the game is probably balanced a lot better. So that's probably why I found it easier. Um, but yeah, anyway, that was a lot of fun. I'll probably try Might Magic 8 at some point. Not next up in my list of Let's Plays, just at some point later. So if you're interested in that, I'll probably get to it, I don't know, someday. It took me, I don't know, half a year or a year to get to Might Magic 7, and uh, 8 will come around later. So hope you guys have enjoyed. One last hurrah to the team of mighty adventurers who got some gizmo from a ship on the bottom of the ocean and returned it to some dudes that, I don't know, they're off to go travel the stars. Who knows, we're staying here. We helped them out, I guess, but I don't know. We got our castle, so that's good enough. We managed to uh, push back the humans and the elves, and we get to keep our land. So we'll go retire and, you know, just hang out. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the series, and have a great day. If I've missed anything, um, leave a comment, and I'll try to get back to you about what I missed if I did or something. Maybe I'll make an extra video. Who knows? Anyway, see you next time, folks.